Rochester go to work on ending what's become an eight game skid. What's up, guys? Rich Gamer 997 here. Tonight, we're back on MLB The Show 21. If you guys enjoyed this video, it would be really appreciated if you drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, leave a notification, hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Let's play The Show 21. And have command of him, he's going to have a really good game. Well, let's see what I got O'Neal batting right now. In the fifth hole. That's not bad. He's slowly moving up so the ladder. <laughs> batting the 533. No home runs, five RBIs. First pitch on the way. Lined into left center. Leaping dry, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. There we go. More RBIs on the board. Hey, one of the things you want to do, Dior, is strike early, and they've done just that with a big hit driving in two. Yeah, Dan, great to grab an early lead right there, especially when you could throw up a crooked number for your pitcher. Next, here is Legion Chu, and he's looking to get it going. Legion Off Chu. A bit of a slow start this year. Yeah, 156. Is is way below the Mendoza line. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the mm -hmm. inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the bottom of inning number one. The Iron Pigs lead this one two to nothing. Them iron pigs is on a row. The Red Wings on took the lead. Stepping in next, Richard O'Neill. A base knocked to the outfield could score the tying run from second. And now the first pitch. Swing and a liner. On, and that's on, in there. Base on. hit to Reyes. Rounds the corner and is headed home. And he's safe at the plate. We are knotted at three. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. Pigeon coach is worried he's out there crying. Now it'll be Legion <laughs> Chu, the man for one here in the early going. My Legion Chu, you're back up again. His drive is running, his 0 for 2. He's probably going to strike out again like he did the last time. Here's the 0 2. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two seamer. Uh. The is <laughs> Clearly fired up to work out of that jam. Mm -hmm. More of the show. Saturday baseball after this. He's definitely fired up. Yeah, he's like up. He's happy he got out of that one. Stepping in once again is Yasel Antuna. It was a walk in his last trip. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Center fielder on the oh, run. A bad reaction. Get there, so the inning will continue. Kate is on his way home. Bad reaction on that. As they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. A bad reaction on that field. So the box is Richard a bad Neal. jump. He delivered an RBI single in his last trip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a liner. That's a gapper. You better and run, motherfucker. Run, bitch, run. Extra bases. I might get done at third. Uh -huh. That the side is retired. Uh, game so is tied. He don't matter well. Ah damn, the Red Wings don't stop putting up runs. What the hell? 
riding in is Richard O'Neill. He doubled his last time up. And if you remember, it was kind of one of those cardinal sin type of mistakes. Whether it was him or the third base coach, Nick 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 Oh, that pitching can't stop giving up runs, boy. That pitching they're giving up away runs like the other team is yeah, paying we'll them for them. Oh, and this one is hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. Oh. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. <laughs> oh, shit. Second now and headed for third. And now Gracious just getting the ball back into yeah, the infield. Yeah, that freaking idiot cutoff guy. What was he doing? Wow, that cutoff guy is a moron. Ten to four, the final in this game. The Red Wings put a ten spot on the score. I don't even know what that cutoff guy was doing. Win on the mound is first of the year. Colin Wiles from the kept being alive. Put it on accuracy. So that just about does it for Mark Garosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more I did that stupid diving thing. I hate when that happens. Press the wrong button to throw the ball in. The show brings you coverage from the Triple A East. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series. The two and nine team. Whoop their ass. And the Rochester Red Wings. They were one and eight. And they whooped their no, they were one and nine, and they whooped their ass to become two and nine. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch record that he has? Now they put me batting at the bottom of that fucking lineup. Next to stand in is Richard. After all I did in that last game, they're gonna put me to bat in the seventh hole. I'm so impressed with him and his ability to get the ball sides in a dish. I mean, Hell we've all no. seen guys that do it, yeah, but really, right. they usually struggle from one side of the plate or the other. Not him, though. He's a true switch hitter who has a lot of success from either side of the box. Out in front of it, strike one. Slider. Out in front of that slider. Hey, come on, big guy. Stay hot up there. Oh, one pitch on its way. There's a line drive, and he's swinging it as good as anyone, folks. The streak will continue. On, he's got a base fight, hit. Fight. And he's safe. And as you see right there, this streak will continue. 33 game hitting the streak. The list. Hey, not an easy thing to do, D. Bro. Think about this. He's in the 30s right now. He's basically gone like four weeks when he's gone to bed every night. And he he probably sleeps pretty comfortably knowing that he got a base hit in every game. Oh, man, his dinner tastes better. His wife got prettier. Without question, this is a month he'll never forget. Now the 0-1. Fly ball out to straightaway left. Stevenson has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And he's out. Beautiful. <laughs> they did send him. Down the run. That got tagged out. That time, but he was having none of it. A great throw to end the frame. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Runner is slow. Next to hit is Richard O'Neill. He singled first time up. the slider down. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Line toward right center. De La Rosa uh -huh. able to track it down for the third out. That was a nice swing. Nice hit. He was going to find a hole like it over his head. Drew Mendoza. He popped out in his first trip. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. So nothing happening this time around. On to the top of inning number five we go. Sui. The Iron Pigs lead it one to nothing. Center field, and that'll get down for a base hit. Uh, go back, go back. 
Uh, they did, thought it was going to go to third, but he and didn't. He'll settle for a single here as they whip it back in quickly. Like, what made him think that that yeah, guy was going to catch that ball? I don't know. Middle. And with the pitcher this young, you just want to let him know that he's out there for a reason and to trust what got him here Barrett. is good enough to get him through this. <laughs> TD Barrett. Oh, what's his name? TD Barrett, I think it is. Is he playing the games? He's pitching. Oh, no, his name is Eric now Barrett. Now Jack Conley. <laughs> Comes in one yep. for two with that home run he hit earlier. Yeah, that was a pretty good pitch, too, man. That last AD, but he went deep. That was a fastball. Oh. It was in and off the plate. So that tells me this guy likes the ball on that inner half of the plate or even inside off the plate. If I'm on the mound right now, I'm keeping the ball away from this guy. Now back. Swing and a miss, and that's out wow. number three. You got to strike out the no, next two guys. Hits, no errors and two wow. men left on. So stepping in is Jeremy De La Rosa, singled last time up. And he gets him to lift one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Stott backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Next up, Richard two for three, two singled singles. in his last at bat. No home runs, nine RBIs. Yeah. He's not a power hitter. No home runs. Ain't gonna be that good. From the stretch. Hit down the line at first. When you decide to play center field, or when you choose to play center field, you have to pick the speed at first. Oh, that's a nasty ass curveball. Hey, this guy has come in and just got his job. Period. That one. The end. Chance to toss a scoreless inning right here with two down. They're only down two. A bloop and a blast, and this game's tied. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Just so missed it. The end. Perfect hit. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. And that'll take care of the pinch hitter here for route number two. So most center field people that's playing as a center fielder into the ball is because they got the wrong archetype for a center fielder. They probably got like what's best. Most people want power. And power is for like their main for power the main base you would play is first base as a center fielder your main archetype would be a speedster so your power and all that shit you're gonna mostly have contact and bunting not really too much power i guess you can work on that and build your power up with everything else but you're mostly gonna have contact and bunting thanks speed. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And this ball swung on and hit to center field. And this should do it. He brings it in, and they have taken the rubber match of this three-game set as this ball game is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. And the score finishes 4-1 to one today. The Lehigh Valley Iron Pick. Lee Valley Iron Pigs. At least there was no regression this time. Well, he's bearing down on the major leagues, and it's it's clear to me. Nobody's gonna tell me he's not gonna be a star as a two-way player. Jim Callis of MLB Pipeline joins me. Jim, what do you see when you look at him, and what does this player mean for the game at large? Yeah, you know, it's, it, it's incredible. I mean, it's very difficult to be a two-way player at any level, 
you know, especially the big leagues. I mean, really, since Babe Ruth mm -hmm. and, and, and since Shohei Otani, Squad nobody in between really even tried to do that at a high level. Um, and this guy is making it happen in AAA. Control. I think he's winning people over the... Yeah, this guy can actually do both at the big league level. Um, and if, you, if it does happen, durability. I think you'll see more teams maybe try to do this. I mean, Core there is a school of thought durability and sometimes. And stamina. For years. Let the guy pick one or the other because it, it's hard to do both. Right, right. And let him be the best he can be at either hitting or pitching. But if this guy makes it happen, I think you're going to more teams... You're going to have him say... I want a guy like that one, you know, especially because it's like, you know, two players in one on your big league roster. Go all in. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, 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 <laughs> so close. All he could do was six. Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs and the Syracuse Mets. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Josh Fleming will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Pleszak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matty V, this guy lives and dies with one pitch, and that's that butt powerhouse looks so singer. Weird. Guys this is often weird. related to, like, trying to hit a bowling ball, but it's good. It's usually at the knees and below, and he's really easy to figure out if he's going to be on. But, but it just looks weird for some... Next to dig in, Richard O'Neill has the switch hitter will bat right-handed here. Even though he's batting right-handed in this particular bat, this guy swings it from both sides of the plate. Numbers pretty much the same across the board. Damn, I hit it right to center field. Shit. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. So it's a run on three hits, no errors. Right to center field. Next up is Edgardo Fermin. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Syracuse. Swing and a little blooper to center. In there, a base hit. Man, I thought this at bat was over. Down 0 2. He's. At the plate now is Richard O'Neill. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Oh. The ground out to short. Ran in. And a bit of a high throw that time. No problem over there at first as they record the out. And now here is Richard O'Neill, grounded out in his last at bat. Yeah, Maddie, and it looked like a sinker in his last AB that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Very cute. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Bring him to Max, Syracuse Max. 
So now to the plate, Luis Avilas. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. A swing and a ground ball to third. On the bag, on the bag, right here. On the, the second for the force, and the side is retired. Damn, the Mets didn't put up some. They done put a whooping Taking on our pitcher right there. Pitcher. Holy he shit. He delivered an RBI Ooh. single in his last trip. Oh, yeah. To short. He's got it. Ah, oh, beat it out, beat it out. Go on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. The person can't stop anything. We got to ask the night comes to an end six to three. The uh, pitching is Syracuse not up to par. Nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Josh Fleming wins his third of the season. Joseph Shaw hammers down the save, his fourth of the season. The team's future stars are on display as minor league. Carlos Carrasco is on the mound for game two. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard Damn, to master. Damn, he got five pitches. If you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Second inning set to go, and coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Richard O'Neill. For me, this is an important add on inning here. Their little lead is cute, I like it, but keeping the pressure on what building the that fuck? lead. That's really? But this will be gloved out there at second. And now in the box, Shervian Newton, as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box. The one two. Lifted into the air out towards center field. O'Neill finds some space out there for the catch to retire the oh, side. This is just crazy. Man. That ball was hit. Well hit. <laughs> Stepping up is Richard O'Neill. Now here's the first offering. Hey! Line drive to center field, and that's in there. Find the Base ball, hit. Find the ball. Find the ball. And as you see right there, this streak will continue as he inches forward up the all-time list. Hey, not an easy thing to do, D. Bro. Think about this. He's in the 30s right now. He's basically gone like four weeks when he's going to bed every night, and he. He probably sleeps pretty comfortably knowing that he got a base hit in every game. Oh, man, his dinner tastes better. His wife got prettier. Without question, this is a month they'll never forget. Fly ball to straight away Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's two outs. And really. that ends the inning. So it's no runs on the screen. This is going to to see busy listening to. I'm talking about how great I'm doing on my head streak. <laughs> now with the plate is Richard O'Neill, singled in his That's last That's great O'Neill is doing. Hit in the air to oh, center that's field. straight to center field. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. That's what I hate. There's no follow-through with the double-handed swings. There's no fucking follow-through, guys. That's what I hate the most. First pitch on the way. Sinker. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. And he uh, will make the play out there. And that was a contact the swing. Shit, that shit went further than regular swing did. And we lost the game, so it was piling on the ass, whooping on us. Jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Stephen Tarplick claims the win out of the pen, his first. Whatever, they left 16 men on base. Minor League Baseball on the show for you now. Ow! He's out! Ow! And hit him! Now into the box.
box, Richard O'Neill, as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. I'm so impressed with him and his ability to hit from both sides of the dish. I mean, we've all seen guys that do it, but really, they usually struggle from I might one side have to of the other. Get Not rid him, of though. He's a true switch hitter who has a lot of success on from either side of the box. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. On the line, that's a base hit. That Damn, that fucking left now. fielder has it. Right fielder has a hell of a arm on him. Holy shit. Piece of cheese and it gets turned around. Nice piece of hit. Striding Dude, that shit all the way to third. It didn't even hit the, the ground. Tying run from second. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Ortega makes the catch. And now they might be able to double them off at first. Oh, throw is offline. Now to the plate, Mac James. All these Basically guys in the Syracuse the has crazy arms second. on them. Here's the 3-0. He loses him on yeah, it. Throwing the balls from right field, left field, all the way to first base. Is there there's frustrating for this pitcher. One Not option to first base, really too bad it was offline. Otherwise, that would have been hosed. It's a good thing. The pitcher hit this inning instead of forcing him to lead off the next one. Come on, we're gonna run here. He Try to game up. Three, two. Uh, and that is through into center field. The base hit. One run is scored. And the run is in to score from second. It's Attaboy. now a Great two job. to one ball game. Boy, that's a big base hit right there, D roll by the pitcher to give them a one run lead. Yeah, the that's pitcher, a holy shit. For the team right now. They're gonna have to find a way to regroup. When you watch the pitcher drive in too. Yeah, it's like a bouncer. Like for me, that would it would have bounced right there and it, he hit the ball that bounced right there and went all the way to center field. It's crazy. All set for the start of the inning. And next to bat will be the outfielder, oh, Richard O'Neill. Line drive to center field. And that falls Bingo. in for a Make solid turn. base Make hit his turn. second of the night. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Dan, he took that right back at his face right there. Exactly what you're trying to do. Middle cut, though. Are you a little concerned? Yeah, that's a case of a ball being right down the middle. As a pitcher, you want to work the corners and stay out of that middle part of the zone. And he paid for it right there with a solid base hit. And now they'll have runners right. at the corners to start off the inning. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be, this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been Rewarded Mad for it, as you talked about six game hitting streak so far. Almost say J Mac. J Mac is a Filipino YouTuber. <laughs> Pulled high in the air out to left field. Go back, stupid. Go back. Ortega yeah, that's. Has it, and I'd be surprised yeah, these guys got it. arms. And oh, I could have won. Maybe so with a dive. Try to dive and tag me while I was Next running by. It'll be the pitcher, Eli Vaccaro. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Pitch popped up. Vasquez is there. Ah, he popped it up. And Shit. they get the double play at third. Ah, that sucks. Yeah, we can't do anything to stop so these fucking flips over throwing, boy. It's crazy. Yeah, Their pitching is just terrible the against them. It's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. O'Neal is there, two gone. So. We can't stop them for shit. Our pitching is horrible. Our hitting is horrible. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. He's under it, and that ends the inning. So but it's still early in the season, so. No errors, and two men left on base. Three, three, four, four. Now to bat, Richard O'Neill singled in his last at bat. Pitch on the way. Swing and a liner. Oh, a wow. Baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. That's fucked up. 
And a little screen freeze. Like, I wonder if nobody else Next to him, have that Lee, issue in the game. Because it seems like nobody so else far. talk about that little fucking screen it's freeze that be happening. Like, nobody says anything about it. It's like I'm the only one that noticed that that shit is happening. Fly ball out toward left center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Next, it'll be Richard O'Neill. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. This is pulled into right. That's in for a base hit. He's now three for four. Hey, <laughs> Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, you'll take three for four every day of the week. Yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a homer, a walk, or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. So here is Andrew Bechtold. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. Runners off for second. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the ah, left side. son of a bitch. We'll have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big <laughs> out number two. But he's safe at first as he gets Stupid back ass. Why did you hit the ball? So next to bat will be Mac James. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Runners on the move for second. And he's step off. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. Uh, he off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Quick check on that. Time run at first. He'll get back in safely. Here comes the 0-1. Now a ball lined to the right side. And that'll get down Make for a turn. base hit. Find the ball. Stand up right here. Stand up. Pick it up. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. And if you start wondering about what's left on the bench, there's a look at what they have to choose from. Joe Rickard. Joey Rickard. Dylan Thomas. He's swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. He makes the catch, and they uh, finished uh, off a three-game sweep okay. on home soil as this one is over. And they brought the brooms with them. They done swept their asses at home. Mm -mm -mm. That's a shame. Took the pounding. As he bears down on the major leagues, it's becoming more and more clear that he could be a major star as a two-way player. Jonathan Mayo of MLB Pipeline is with you. And Jonathan, when he was drafted, there was a lot of talk that he was picked too high. It's looking like he Well, guys, that's going to do it for me tonight. If you guys enjoyed this video and you love your girl to death, make sure to hit the like button. If you love your moms, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Remember, tomorrow is Mother's Day. Wishing everybody out there a wonderful Mother's Day to your moms. Give her something beautiful. And make sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Remember, stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. And most important of all, be kind to each other. Have a wonderful night. Peace.